So Sound Art is an organisation, a non-profit, uh, artist initiated based in Saigon in Vietnam. And it's our 10 years anniversary next year. And to be able to have Conscious Realities as our key program of the last three years with the support of the Prince Klaus Fund has been a really wonderful way to see that decade come to a kind of end. And I guess I say that because Sana in the very beginning was a place where artists met artists. And it was talking about how we build a community in southern Vietnam, in a place that was considered to be very much with tension between what is local, what is an overseas Vietnamese or Viet Q, and what is foreign. And I think that Conscious Realities was one of those projects as something that focuses on the Global South, as a project that tries to map a different history for Vietnam, to think about its map as something other than a colonial history, and to think of what are our mythologies, our categorizations of ourselves, what are the materials that we use in this part of the world that has a synergy with the global south, and by that I mean South Asia, Southeast Asia, Latin America and Africa. And the fact that the Prince Klaus Fund was willing to support such a dialogue was really instrumental, I think, to the changing opinions of what Sanart could be, because inherently in this program was an understanding that Vietnam is not just about looking inward, but looking outward. And as a consequence, our audiences became incredibly diverse and with the representational age from not only the young but also the, the old. So I'm personally really proud of what we as a company, as a community, have been able to do and how we've been able to expand. So Conscious Realities as a name came up because I found that after researching the history of Vietnam particularly, and somewhat of the region of Southeast Asia. How do we articulate who we are in the world if we aren't conscious of where we've come? And the educational system here is not the best. And it suffers a comparative, a lack of a comparative vision. So the chance to say, we're going to try and fill that history with a consciousness and understand that that consciousness has many different kinds of time and many different kinds of geographies that overlap. And to be able to bring that through lectures, through workshops, through an artist in residency program, through publication, through exhibitions, it's been a wonderful journey to take with guests from these contexts and to bring them to Saigon. And in the last month, we've been able to realize also key collaborations with organizations that have newly sprung up in, in, in the city. The first purpose-built space for contemporary art called the Factory Contemporary Art Centre with a solo show with Boy Kung Khan. On Saturday evening, we're about to open the solo of a senior artist called Quak Phom with the Ho Chi Minh City Fine Arts Museum in collaboration with the Ho Chi Minh City Fine Arts Association. And also Hua Sen University Press also co-publishing with us a book which will translate the first key post-continental regional 20th century texts into Vietnamese. And the fact that the Prince class was an enabler of all of this is incredibly important. Vietnam in Southeast Asia is a very important economy. Um, with the establishment of ASEAN in 2015, the collapse of the visa necessities in the region, there is an increasing ease with which trade and education is an exchange in the region. But then not only within ASEAN, there's also major economic partnerships such as the, TP, um, the TPP about to be, uh, we hope, approved. In, in that vein, there is a huge amount of opportunity and potential for Vietnam, not only economically, but also in terms of it as a society. There will be a, an incredible amount of investment coming in to Vietnam. And, and how do we approach all of this foreign investment? What's our own relationship to the money, the attitude, the flow of goods that comes in? And I think 
if we look back in history, we understand that that flow of material can sometimes misconstrue what our intentions are. And so I think it's important to understand who we are right now, but how do we determine that? And I think in order to understand who we are, we have to look at our history. We have to better understand our origins, and more importantly, particularly to Vietnamese history, to understand that that origin is not a fixed and single unit. So much of Vietnam's history comes from a place of other. Its first millennia was somewhat in vassal relationship with China. We have had a colonial relationship with France for over a hundred years. There's so many different patches of history in Vietnam where the other, the international, has been incredibly important, not only for the people in this country, but think of the Vietnam War and how much that moment became nearly, dare I say, a global moment to which we start to see the role of protest and movement of thought through media for the first time. And I think for, for San Art to be in a position in Vietnam as one of the only legally registered and official in that way organizations to be working with the Prince Klaus Fund now at a moment where we're seeing a lot of political tensions occurring around the region. It's important to say that culture has a voice and the people that have been invited to participate in conscious realities have all very much understood that as a region we have to stand together. And I think that the international gaze from Vietnam is about trying to identify who are those people that we want to stand with. And particularly in this program that's been trying to look away from the stereotypical gaze from which current media affairs would assume Vietnam as, uh, thinks of its key relationships, i.e. China. The meeting, the Prince Klaus Fund Network Partnership, is a unique moment for our community to understand friendship, I think. I think it's important to see that as, as network partners that we are, we are comrades in a way. We've, we've become people that mutually supportive and this particular visit to Vietnam, they've had direct one-on-one -on -one contact with not only artists but key movers and shakers in not only Saigon but also in Hanoi and to be able to have that moment of key contact to learn from each other to understand that the network is there to tap into of expertise that they're not on their own that they're not isolated because sometimes it can be it can be really hard to, in this country with no support there are not many role models that you can turn to to ask for advice and I think it is and personally, I've witnessed it, I think, a, a beginning of another kind of seed of a network to grow, not only between the network partners themselves, but also the, the people that we individually support.